fallen god, creator and destroyer of worlds, hear my vow. <laughs> I wonder if it is still safe. Either way, our quest for Antanas nears a conclusion. I hope he's worth all the men we've lost on our way here. Hey guys, this is Johnny from Mouse and Joypad here. And you watch me play some Lords of the Fallen. Uh, you've just watched the cinematic and now um, I'm going to get straight into some gameplay. It is actually going to show you uh, at the beginning the basics of combat, which I probably need because this is quite a difficult, tough game. So I just stopped long enough for you to read all of this stuff before hitting the button and completing the objectives and as you can see this is the first enemy I've met walking in through the door and it's just telling me how to defend myself evade and strike both in heavy combat and light combat as you can see I'm the warrior right now with the sword shield combination I don't have any magic right now so it's pretty at the, at the start of the game let's finish this guy off and I have to go back up and talk to Kazlo which I'm going to do now I think he's up here at the top of the stairs so I'll just talk to him for a moment This Xbox, which is a uh, Xbox PlayStation combination, is uh, You're still losing not good for me because I keep looking for the A button, the, the Y button. Good. I didn't let you out of prison to worry about me. You're no use to me if you bleed to death. I will try to spare you the inconvenience of my death. The man we're looking for. How will we find him? He's the leader of all humanity. If we find his guards, we'll find him. 
So far, I've seen only corpses, no survivors. The Rogar have clearly breached the walls of the monastery, and Tanus would have given his life to protect his people. If he is alive, then some of them might have survived too. There must be some way to open this door. A switch, perhaps, or a key. Okay, here we go. That's that bit on. Now, off to find the key. As you can see, Lord of the Fallen is quite graphically is quite impressive. Actually, I was very, very surprised at the shadows and light. How they seep in through the windows. If you go down here to the door, you can hear the wind whistling through as it's coming in. I was just looking for this key now, which is not in here, obviously. So it's time to find some other way around. Try this door. Uh, that's it. Now these enemies I actually encountered in the first preview, they're blind, but they're not stupid. They can hear you. As you see all those things popping up on the right hand side of the screen, there was me figuring out the buttons again. Playing the console I'm not used to. As you can see he's very detailed. Your character is very detailed. As you can see on the wall right there. The stained glass light shining through. It's a very it's a very atmospheric game. And here we go, some more enemies here now. I'm just gonna try vanquish this fella quickly, if I can get near him. See if you don't lock on to your enemies, you, you end up swinging wherever you're pointing the camera. That's what I'm trying to show you now. It makes the game that much harder. But it also has you using up your yellow energy bar. As you can see, it takes a, a bit of energy to swing the sword every time. And you've got to let it build back up. So if you run out of energy, you will not be able to swing. It is in me. Pick up a scroll there. And it is just fill me with some blurb. The bones see the light and the atmosphere again. Growing. The fog and the dust like and the light. Very impressive. There is a little bit of flickering in the gameplay and I have to apologise for that. That is not down to the game, it's actually down to the settings. I didn't have much time to do the capture settings when I got to the event. So it was pretty much a spur of the moment. Here we go over this way. Oh. Break up all these and see if the key is hidden in here. One thing I did learn from the first preview is break up everything, destroy everything because you never know where anything is hiding. Another boiled, covered, blind guy as he wings past me, but he did hear me breaking those furniture up. And here we go. Let's get rid of this guy now again. Hopefully, no. Hit. That's it. That's him gone. See, it's a very beautiful. It is an absolutely beautiful game. It's the most beautiful game I've seen come out of City Interact. Sorry, City Interact games. It's truly stunning visually. I beg you, be careful. I'm very, very Something detailed. I can feel that. Now, one thing about Always it is, if you're used to running and gunning, happens, the the combat is slower depending on what armor please. you wear. I'll just show you now, I'm going to switch safe. over to a hammer, which is just the same sort of level, but I'm going to use a hammer. And these weapons can be wielded both single-handed, some of them single-handedly and double-handedly. But again, I'm not locking on, just to show you that once you strike, the enemy may not always be there once you follow through, so locking on is the best way to go. Now, I'm still trying to find that key. Come back around this way. Oh, he heard me coming, didn't he? Let me go get by him. Locked onto this one, as you can see, the two little bars beside his health. Now he's chewing me a new one. Great. Here we go. Gotcha. Now we'll travel on. Down here, there's a couple of more guys down here. Hopefully the key will be down here as well. Just staying quiet so they don't hear me. Get to head on them. 
See, because these guys are blind, he might strike it towards where the sound is coming from, but he's not always going to get you. There is other enemies here, and they will get you. He tried to chew me up a new one as well. Let's get rid of this guy. Lock on. That's it. It's gone. Now, find this key again. No, not there. Or there. Right. As you can see, I do like to destroy everything in my wake. And this hammer seems to be quite heavy. When, when you change weapons, you notice how much your player changes and how much effort he has to put into the swing a heavier or cumbersome piece of equipment like the hammer from towards the sword and it is it's very well done all the animations are different everything is totally different it's not just switch with the same animations they're all specific to the weapons no, no. how do you want to leave the key in the barrel on another one block them off and lock on you can see fighting is quite tactical in this game and quite difficult. Sometimes you'll find yourself having to back off, take a breath, or even run away. There's another one of those scrolls. The fires on the horizon, they are spreading towards our village. Again, I'm swinging wildly at nothing. Something evil. Well, that's my own fault. I can feel that. Okay, now I'm going down to a different part here. Still in search of this key. I was trying to show it exactly. You don't want to be getting close to these guys. But then again, because you're, some of your weapons are not going to have that much reach. So you have to have the key now. You have to get up close and personal. But you also got to remember, it takes effort to swing these things. As it would in real life, I suppose. I can't get back to my mentor, Kazlo, now. And there is this guy again who absolutely kicked my ass a minute ago. And as you can see, back on the steps, that shining light was the XP I dropped. So that's my ghost from where I died beforehand. Which, when I vanquish this fella, hopefully this time. I can pick back up and continue on my journey. I have to measure this one this time. The last time he took me by surprise and totally kicked my ass. Just pick up back up my XP. There we go. That's where he killed me last time. I ran straight into him. Like this. And now back down to this guy. Grab the scroll. Which I open this door, right hopefully. I found a key. What are you waiting for? Open the door. Hmm. Support me. I could use some help. Yeah. This might be useful. Okay, let's open it up. Let's see what lays on the other side of this. Let's make sure I feel my health first, because I'm damn sure I'm going to be killed in here. You can see it's absolutely stunning, stunning looking game. Every little detail is just stunningly rendered and textured. Oh, it just doesn't look good. That's not good. Here comes the pain. Here we go. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Whoa. Damn, he's big. 
Oh. God, can he get a bigger sword anywhere? Right, here we go. Try to get a swing at this fella. He just won't stop swinging that sword. Jesus. This guy is tough. Yep, here he comes again. Oh man, he's just kicking my butt right now. Try to get past him. Thing is, as you can see, it's not running in and trying to hit him while you're swinging a big heavy hammer is not the ideal thing. You gotta evade him and wait for the right time. Which that was a bond strike, and then try block. But oh, he's done me a good one there. And he's blocked that one. Oh man, he's killing me. Whoa. Trying to evade his moves even is hard. Right, he's got a sword stuck in the ground. Hit him. See, even then, it's because the hammer is so heavy, it was quite slow for me to get up there and, and hit him. So as you can see, these battles, this is not like long into the level either. And you come across this guy. Needless to say, he has whipped my butt a few times, which he's probably doing again right now. Here we go. Get this guy back. No, evade him. Move, move. Hit him now. Yes. I think I have to measure a view this time, mister. Oh, hold on. This is tough. He just charges right in and you can't evade him. Right, needless to say, he did kick my butt a few times. This is from a part of the gameplay I played in the first preview. It's further up in the game. There's a lot more magic. I'm wielding a staff. As you can see, some more of these blind enemies. But this area in the middle here is covered by boards. If you're wearing heavy armor, you can actually go down through those and die. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to be walking across them. And here's some magic. You see this Order of the Fallen has eleven different sort of weapons configurations that you can use. And um get away. It is it is very, very tactical. It's very beautiful. And it's very hard. Check this guy out. This is one of many, many massive enemies you will be facing within this world. And as you can see again, this is way further up in the game. I'm actually using a different class here. Who has two hand wheeling weapons. Just gonna take this fella down. That's it guys, that's about all I have to show you from Lords of the Fallen, which is out the end of the month on PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC, so buy it.